Oh, okay, I'm Sovereign Sage, and Kaya's hangout quest is taking forever. I've already been through two hours, and I think I've only gotten, like, three endings. So the first ones were pretty interesting. The last ending we got, we had met Venti, which was... I didn't expect that at all. So here we are trying to help this guy who knows Kaya that owes him multiple favors get him out of trouble. So basically, Kaya told me to watch his gestures, and he's going to ask this guy to bet on a coin to try to... Because this guy's like a fraud. He's been stealing money from people. Um, so apparently if he touch, touches his forehead, I'm supposed to bet on tails. And if he touches his chin, I'm supposed to bet on heads. So I have to watch Kaya very carefully to see what he does. And apparently I am a person from the Gua clan, because we're, we're, we're not going to tell this guy who we really are. And apparently Kaya is a guy from a wealthy family. So those are the roles we are playing. So I'm like Team Gua over here like I'm Shingto. <laughs> yes, good, good fortune, fortune indeed. indeed. In, In that, that case, case, I must thank, thank you for your generosity. generosity. And this is the guy that's scamming people. He looks like a schemer. You there. I'll get, I'll get yours, yours too. too. Thanks. I'll just nod. Where are you originally from? Far from home? Oh, you can't, you can't tell. tell. My, My family's lived, lived in Mondstadt for generations. generations. I got, I got bored, bored sitting, sitting around, around at home and decided to set off on a journey to expand my horizons. Yeah, because he was at the table talking to a guy and I came up and he's like, what, no more tables? And I'm like, you don't have to be so uptight, I'm just looking for a seat. So, I'm supposed to be acting as if though I don't know Kaya. The sights of Leeway Harbor are rather spectacular. I've had a mind to buy a waterfront property here so I can come vacation every year. That would be quite nice. If the family would spare me a little loose change, I could even invest in an antique shop or two so I have something to do during the day. But waterfront properties are so expensive. Flaunting your wealth much? Show off. Flaunting? Come on, we're talking 20, 30 million tops. Surely. Isn't that just pocket change? Mr. Rich, just to clarify. That's quite a large sum of more, as far as the common woman is concerned. It's understandable that our friend over here feels out of her league. I love when I am addressed by the correct pronouns. Dick, the other guy was, earlier was like, young lady, like, when you actually call me by what I am, it, I, I'm like immediately drawn to you. Because people always say that I'm a male and I'm not, so... Even in this game as well, if you play as the other twin, it'll switch it around. And sometimes they miscall the, the the fucking twins opposite genders. There's been times where they say he when it's looming, or they'll say her when it's either, and it's funny. So I'm glad they have it correct. The name's Albert. Surname Rich. But only the servants in the house address me as Mr. Rich. Now that we're so well acquainted, Mr. Bai, please just call me Albert. Hilarity. <laughs> Albert does have a nice ring to it. It is my honor to become friends with someone of your... caliber. You flatter me. What say you to acting as my guide during my time in Liyue? I'll pay you handsomely, of course. Naturally, board and lodging would be included. And I could pay you in the region of... 50,000 more per day? No need, my good friend. I shan't be so vulgar as to take your more. We're both men of character. The pleasure of your ongoing acquaintance shall be ample reward in itself. To join a noble gentleman on his travels is a rare opportunity. Please, let me draft up an exact itinerary. I'll make sure to give you the experience of a lifetime. You there. You're welcome to join us if you want. Which clan did you say you were with? The... Hoo-ha clan or something? It's funny that they say that because where I'm from... I mean, I think it's a general term used around the world. But... The fact that he said that... Where I'm from, that's what you call a fucking woman's... Yeah, that's hilarity. My dear saying that... You know what he just said? <laughs> like the hoo-ha clan. Like, I know it's supposed to be like a joke, but where I'm from, that's the word we refer to a uh, woman's privately bits. 
We are not talking about a V here, but that's where I'm from. That's what we we use that word to refer to that. So I don't know how to feel about this. It's the Gua Clan. Gua? Huh? Huh. Strange, Strange choice, choice of name. name. Gotta say, I've been in Liyue for a while now. This is the first I'm hearing of them. I guess they're one of these obscure ones who keep to themselves. He's touching his chin. Because he said he's going to ask the guy to bet on a coin, but he's been doing a lot of gestures up until this point, and I'm getting confused. Yes, well, there are many martial arts clans and factions in Liyue. It's only natural that you haven't become acquainted with all of them. I really hope I don't run into fucking Xingqiu, because if I'm going around saying that I'm part of his clan and I'm not, I wonder if he'll get upset. <laughs> Fair enough. Still, weird name. Bet they have some even weirder practices. Seriously, though, what kind of skills do you guys train anyway? It's all for show, right? I saw some people performing a few tricks down at the wharf. Is it that kind of thing? The Gua clan is devoted to the teaching of martial arts. If you're comparing the Gua clan to street performers, we have nothing to talk about. I will take my leave now, and I'll get my own check as well. I already told the server to put it on my tab. Don't bother getting her to split the bill. It'll only complicate things. Our master teaches us not to accept free favors. I was merely passing by your generosity. We'd better serve elsewhere. Young lady, there's no need to take things so seriously. Why, Why don't you loosen up and enjoy, enjoy the free drink? Please don't talk to me about loosening up. I will slap the fucking shit out of you with a fish. Are you trying to make a point by throwing my generosity back in my face? All right, then. What if I say your bill is mine and don't let you pay? You want to fight? Yeah, please, my friends, let's not get your work up. Yin Chong Tea House is no venue for a dude. We'll all get escorted right out the door. You young people have hot tempers, I understand that. But there's no need to come to blows over a few words taken to heart when there are far more diplomatic ways to resolve the dispute. Okay then, how about we settle this with a coin toss? I'll fit my own bill if I win. Did I hear that right? So you'll only pay for yourself if you win, but I'll get the check for the three of us if you lose. It's not that I care about the moral. After all, I offered to pay for everyone's drinks in the first place. No, what I find truly absurd is your refusal to play fair. I demand that you also pay for three if you win. What a load of hogwash. You insulted me first, and now you also want to dedicate the terms. If I win the bet, you have to make a formal apology to the Gua clan. <laughs> Fine. You can have your apology if you win, but on one condition. We'll do the best of three, and the winner pays for the table. Well, as long as you're no longer raring to fight, peace begets wealth, as the elders used to say. Why do you join us, Mr. Bai? Let's entertain this gal for a sec. We don't want her to think you're stingy. Uh, but I must have the part of your argument. What are you trying to say, Mr. Bai? Whose side are you on here? I, uh, uh, of course, uh, I'm uh, on, uh... And anyway, it's no big deal if you win. It's just a few cups of tea, after all, so you can just take it from your fees as my guide. Uh, uh all right then. I suppose it's not all that different from the dice gambling games I used to play in my youth. If it's just for a few drinks, you can count me in. All right, now we're talking. Okay, now that we've agreed on the rules, how should we do this coin toss? After all, a Mora coin looks the same on both sides. Easy. We could just borrow a pen from my counter as a mark one side. Well, that should be simple enough. Here, I'll take this coin and ask the counter to draw a line on one side. You two can wait for me. Oh my god. Young lady, I can see that you haven't spent many years in the real world. You take everything, everything far, far too personally. personally. Uh, I, too, only met this monster millionaire by complete chance today. But we're getting along just fine. I actually came here to meet with a business partner to count the cash from two recent investments. When this gentleman struck up a conversation with me. In the real world, you've got to keep up appearances. There's no need to evade the rich. 
<laughs> After all, if you keep them happy, you can probably make some more off of them, too. You young people are much too impulsive. It pays to keep a level head. Uh... Just so we're clear, let's say the marked side is heads, and the unmarked side is tails. Everyone has to pick a side before the coin toss. Oh, and no take-backs. Sure. We should also take turns tossing the coin. Sounds fair to me. Why don't you do the first toss, Albert? All right, then, I'll start us off. Here we... Oh. <laughs> Wait, I nearly forgot to collect everyone's bets. Mr. Bai, heads or tails? Hmm, I suppose the choice is arbitrary since it's a 50-50 chance. I'll go with tails. Let me think. I'll also go with tails. What about you, heads or tails? He said if he touches his chin for me to go with heads, if he touches his forehead to go with tails, and he has his hand on his chin, so what should I do? Uh, tails, just as planned. But I didn't. Die, one. Lucky me, I guess. So I was supposed to lose that? I'm confused. I won as well. Guess, Guess there might be a formal, formal apology, apology in the cards, cards after, after all. Hey, this is just the first toss. Let's keep going. Hmm. I, have I have a suggestion. suggestion. If, if one of us loses twice, twice in a row, they, they should get knocked, knocked out while the other two carry, carry on playing to decide the winner. winner. Otherwise, Otherwise, with three of us playing, play, it'll, it'll start, start to get, get difficult to keep track of who's won the most times. I flipped the coin last time, so why don't you go next? I don't, I don't want, want you blaming blame my coin tossing skills, skills if you guess, guess wrong this turn. turn. Here. I'm so confused, because he told me if he put his hand on his chin for me to say heads. And I did. And then it said tails just as planned, but that's not what I had said. So was I supposed to say heads so that I would lose on purpose? Now, now just, just wait, wait a, a second, second, my dear friends. friends. Please, Please let, let me do the second, second toss. toss. Uh huh. Anxious, Anxious to take, take your turn, turn Mr. Bai? You are both young, and I've already seen your short tempers for myself. If Albert loses this round, and this young lady wins, you'll be tied. And before you know it, you'll be at each other's throats again. Please, he was the one at fault. Well, that's not my only consideration, either. You two may be too young to know this, but I've been around the block a few times. What's to say this isn't a trick coin, hmm? In dice, dice games, games people, people use all sorts of methods to rig the game. Some yeah, we'll even fit the dice, dice with mechanisms. They, they give, give them whichever result they want. Yeah, loaded dice is a real problem in real life, and people do get in trouble for that shit. If Albert wins the next round, and you, young lady, lose for the second time in a row, then the third round will just be a tiebreaker between him and me, and you won't get your apology to the Guhua clan. If that happens, only for you to then find out that the coin was rigged all along, you're sure to accuse me of working with Albert to scam you while mocking the Guhua clan. I can only imagine the kind of vengeful warpath that would put you on. A purely hypothetical scenario, of course, but one that I'm bringing up now to avoid any misunderstanding further down the road. If he catches us out, we'll be in deep trouble. Why is Kaya still smiling? Very diligent of you indeed, Mr. Bai. Looks like I chose the right person to be my guide. Here, take it. A rigged coin will always be a little heavier than a normal coin, you see. Yeah, this one seems perfectly normal to me, however. But don't take it from me. Why don't you test it for yourself? Pettiness is below me. I trust your judgment. That was close call. What's, What's your bet, bet this time, time Mr. Bai? I'll, I'll stick, stick with, with tails. Tails, huh? <laughs> well, you well, seem you to have, have a feel, feel for this, this. So, so I guess I'll match your bet again this round. round. Tails, tails it is. And you? I guess because you keep putting your fucking hand on your chin, you told me to do heads, so I guess I'll keep saying heads. I 
think that's what he wants me to do. He wants me to lose on purpose, right? Oh! Coin turned to pets. Was that just a lucky guess, or has Kaya already? Mm. Well, yeah, my, my luck's, luck's still, still just, just about, about holding, holding out. out. <laughs> the three, the of, three us of us are now out. tied. So, so no, no one, one drops, drops out. out. Certainly, Certainly better than Albert and I going head to head in the final round. My turn. Mm -hmm. Well, well, here you go. go. What will it be, Mr. Bai? Mm, it's, it's a, a tough, tough decision, decision this time. time. <laughs> That's, That's what, what makes, makes it fun, fun isn't it? it? Anyway, anyway, there's, there's no, no need to stress. stress. What's, What's the, the cost, cost of a few, few cups, cups of tea, tea compared to 50,000 I'll be paying you every day? Yeah, you make a good point. All right, I'll take it. Okay, and now it's my turn to guess. Not, Not that the, the outcome, outcome matters, matters either way to me. me. I won't I even notice, notice the more's gone. gone. Whatever. I'll, I'll take, take tails. tails. I'll take tails also, because he's touching his forehead. Fortunately, the coin turned up heads. Now it's Kaya's turn. Oh, why did it have to be this? This whole thing started because, because you two got, got into a spat. spat. And now, now I'm the one, one that has to foot the, the bill. bill. <laughs> well, I had to take a break. I think this is still recording. I hope so. But I had to eat and everything. And I was gone for a very long time. So this video is probably going to be stupid short. Hmm. Let's send you to another round. Sure, why, why not? not? I'm having, having fun. fun. I can I go, go for as many rounds as you want. want. I'm out. You guys have fun. <laughs> What a what miserly, miserly person. person. Do as you please. please. The two, two of us can play. But Albert, all the fun of gambling is the mistakes involved. What say you to throw in a little loose change into the bar? Oh, come on now. No need to walk on eggshells here. Let's keep it simple, shall we? If you guess right, I pick up the tab. But if you guess wrong, I'm afraid it's still on you. Sure. That's exactly, exactly what, what I was thinking. Well, here's, here's the, coin. the coin. You can, you can toss, toss first. first. I'll, I'll take, take heads. Hmm. I'll choose. Wouldn't it defeat the whole purpose of betting if you guessed the same as me? This is a two-person game now. Surely one of us has to guess heads and the other tails. All right, all right. It all comes down to luck, after all. I'll take tails. Heads. Ooh, looks, looks like, like Rex, Rex Lapis, Lapis has smiled has upon me today, today after all. all. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for, for the tea, Albert. Bet you wish you'd raise the stakes now, huh? You're on a lucky streak today. <laughs> Look at you getting so giddy over some chump change. It's like you've never gambled with real money before, my old man. That's a real rush, I'm telling you. This is nothing by comparison. In fact, I'm starting, I'm starting to get, to get a, little a little bored. Well, um, in that case, would you care for another game? Sure. Let's, Let's up the stakes a little this time. Shall we say 50,000? Oh, maybe, maybe that's a little, little on the high side. side. What, 50,000? But that's just a single day's guide pay for you. All right. I'll, I'll bet tails. Great, then I'll bet heads. No take backs. Oh my god. <coughs> Heads. Heads. Tails. Oh, how oh, unfortunate. unfortunate. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. greedy. After, After all, all, in the long, long run, run, gambling, gambling is, is always a losing game. game. <laughs> 50,000 50, more. more. Uh, Albert, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sorry but as it happens, I forgot to bring my coin purse with me today. Uh, could you perhaps take this 50000 out of my guide fees? Uh, call it an advance payment. That would make this even. Advance payment? <laughs> sorry, I'm afraid that's not my style. It'll have to be cash. Ha <laughs> ha, just getting better and better. Well, well, so, so be, be it. it. Fifty thousand. Um, let me see what cash I have on me. Takes out fifty thousand and more bills from Just his bag. Just fifty thousand? 
That's not what we agreed on. Huh? What are you talking about? I think you'll find that our bet was for 50,000. No, it wasn't. The amount was one million. <sighs> one million? Are you insane? Come on now, Albert. Be serious. A million here and a million there might be all fun and games to you rich types, but to ordinary folk like myself, this is no laughing matter. I'm being perfectly serious. I know what I said, and what I said was one million more. You're lying to your teeth! Hey! Young lady, you tell him. Did you hear him say one million at any point during our bet? Yeah, he said one million. Oh! What the? I'm not deaf, you know. I swear I heard 50,000! Wait. Oh, I see. You two are in this together. I never met either of you before today, and out of nowhere you suddenly roped me into betting over a coin toss. And now you're accusing me of owing you one million more. Do you have any idea who you're trying to cheat? All the tricks in the book. I can't believe a couple of beginners like you managed to get this far. But don't you try to celebrate just yet. You amateurs have a lot to learn about the art of the calm. Do you really think that nobody else will have heard all the commotion we just made? All I need is one witness, and this little scheme of yours falls apart. Frogs! Frogs, I say! These two kids are trying to scam me out of my hard-earned Nora! Hostess! Oh, Hostess! Come quickly! How pathetic. What is going on here? If you can't abide by our rules, you're not welcome at Yenshan Tea House. I don't care what the issue is. You don't get to make a racket like that in here. Halberd! Fang! Wait, wait, don't! Throw me out! These two con artists are trying to steal my Nora! You can't have them get away with it! Well, let's, let's take this somewhere else. I don't, I don't want any of you disturbing the other guests. guests. Okay, okay, you two. Care to explain yourselves? Gladly. He's making up completely spurious claims. We were betting Mora over a few coin tosses, and now he wants to back out. In the land of contracts of all places, he won 250,000 from me, then another 800,000 from the both of us. Now he's refusing to pay up the measly 50,000 that he lost in the final round. Okay, so after settling up, a total of one million more should have changed hands. Sounds plausible enough. <laughs> it's a complete pack of lies! Hostess, if you don't believe me, ask anyone else in the tea house! These kids were so loud. I guarantee you everybody in that room knows the true story. Sorry to interrupt you all, but you're witnesses to the situation here. Is what Mr. Bai says true? Oh, thank goodness you're finally here. What took you so long? That old guy's been bragging about the Mora he's won so loudly, I'm surprised the whole street didn't hear him. I was about to report him to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Leave me out of this. I want nothing to do with gamblers and scammers. Please, just bring me my check. Our new owner laid down the law not too long ago. We turn a blind eye towards casual games of dice, but there is zero tolerance for any explicit gambling with real more. Return any winnings to the party you took them from, and we'll say that none of this ever happened. Otherwise, I'll have to bring in the Millilith. And I can assure you that they take a more hard line on this kind of thing than we do. Why should I have to give them any more? I don't have any more on me. Oh, but I think you do. Two investments, was it? One of them to the tune of exactly one million, as it happens. Oh, and don't forget you still need to pay the tab. You? Wait, how did you... Halberd! Fang! There's a gentleman here that I'd really like you to meet. Please, please don't. Okay, all right. This was never your Mora to begin with. We'll be returning it to its rightful owner now. We can't have this discussion in front of the other customers. Please, step outside. Jesus Christ.
What did you think, Captain Wu? Could you hear clearly from your corner on the second floor? Yes, everything. I, I can't thank you two enough. Wu, this was your doing, what of it? You and this monster that planned the whole thing. Like us as you and this when the words say you and the... The one with the blonde one. And all the customers on that floor were in on it too, weren't they? I know where you live. And I know what your wife looks like. And your pretty little daughter too. You crossed the wrong man today! Well, who'd be scared of a crook like you? I'll take you on any day of the week. <laughs> well, let's see how long that false bravado of yours will last. Oh, look at that. He figured it out. Guess he's not as dumb as we thought. Don't you two get cocky either. Just you wait. I will hunt you down. My apologies for having to leave this question until you'd vacated the premises. But I couldn't have things escalate inside the tea house. I hope you can understand our position. I noticed that all the guests on the second floor were present before you took your seats then left almost immediately after you did. Would I be correct in saying you were looking to set this man up? Wait, so you saw through it right away? Under normal circumstances, we would never tolerate a scheme like this taking place on our grounds, as it risks damaging our owner's reputation. However, I understand that our owner holds the traveler in high regard, and must have good reasons for their actions. Still, I would appreciate an explanation, if only so that I can answer to the owner. Ah, uh, as, as I, I thought. thought. When you're when operating on someone else's, else's turf, you run the risk of clashing with the master of the house. house. Thankfully, we considered, we considered that possibility before going ahead with our plan. plan. Over, Over to you, you brave, brave hero. hero. You're the, the one with the connections, connections in Liyue. It's your, it's your time, time to shine. shine. Okay. okay. I, understand I understand the situation, the situation now. now. It goes, it goes without saying that, that I have, have no wish to stand in the way of your chivalrous deeds. deeds. I'll report, report everything, everything you told me to our owner. Feel free to find me again if you need any further explanation. Well, well Captain Wu, remember, remember what I what promised you? you? What, what do you think? think? Angry and frustrated enough, enough for you? you? Shame he didn't cry like a baby, though. Excuse, Excuse me, coming, coming through. through. Hmm. Is, Is this, this the Mr. Mr. Bai you reported to us? To us? Yes, yes, that's, that's him, him all right. The one, one who scammed, scammed Captain, Captain Wu. Wu. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Where's, Where's your evidence? evidence? Hmm? And Wu, you've already you recovered your mora. You don't, don't deserve, deserve to be punished, punished twice, twice for the same crime! You can't, you can't talk, talk your way out of this one. one. You're, You're already suspected of defrauding multiple victims out of smaller amounts, and the combined total meets the threshold for a conviction. If it, if it turns, turns out you're guilty, guilty in this case, case too, it'll, it'll only add, add to your sentence. sentence. Does, Does the plaintiff, plaintiff have any witnesses? witnesses? If, if so, we'd, we'd really, really appreciate, appreciate if they could they come, come with us and provide a testimony. testimony. Here, sir, I'm happy to give a testimony. You, you got, got tangled, tangled up in this, this too, huh? In that, in that case, case, please come, come with me. me. Your, your witness, witness statements will play a crucial role in helping to move this case forward. Get the fuck off my screen, Skara. Don't worry, we won't take up too much of your time. And you, sir, can stop twiddling your thumbs. You're coming with us too. Hey, keep, keep your hands up, please. I'll cooperate. cooperate. I'll cooperate. Stop, Stop man handling me. <laughs> Bella takes your common way and testimony return to the Thank team. you so, so much, the both of you. I really don't know how I could ever begin to repay you. Well, I have an idea. We originally came here to do some sightseeing. Anywhere you'd recommend we go before the end of our trip? Let me think. Now, where would I want to go? Hey, are, are either of you interested, interested in a fishing, fishing trip? trip? Sounds, Sounds fun, fun to me. me. Let's, Let's go. go. Angry. Yeah, I don't know how long this video's been going for because I was gone for what feels like maybe 30 minutes. Because if the video had finished, it would have been in my video log and it wasn't. Look at that box floating. Did you see that? Taking forever to load in. Oh shit. Hold on. The wind rises. Well, this was certainly an eventful end to my trip. It wouldn't have been possible without you. 
Or my or lucky, lucky coin, coin, of course. I'm just glad that nothing went wrong when I tossed the coin. <laughs> Wouldn't, Wouldn't be much of a lucky, lucky coin, coin if it had. had. Besides, Besides, I already taught you how to become attuned to it. You still need some practice to master the technique, but luckily it decided to play nice.